I, I, I got a story about DiBiase and me too, but please, if that's a, please go ahead. I just turned heel in Louisiana. Bill Watts came to me one day and says, Hey, have you ever thought about being a heel? I said, every day I was going through some things. He says, yeah, I see that. We're going to turn you heel next TV. So I turn heel. I'm living with Brad Armstrong and Tim Horn. I turn heel on Tim. So we can't ride together. I don't know Teddy that well at this time, but I'm going to meet him for a ride. He just got a red 280Z Datsun. I, I'm young. I'm nervous. I don't want to say the wrong thing to Ted DiBiase, the top guy in the territory. I'm just, again, I can't explain why I am the way I am, but Teddy's a very good friend. We get in this car. I don't have a lot to say, but Teddy's trying to make it light. And we're having some conversation. We're going from Baton Rouge to New Orleans. New Orleans was notorious for the fans. And it was, it could get real hairy sometimes, especially for the big guys. But for everybody, you had to look over your shoulder. We pull into the parking lot of the Coliseum in New Orleans. And there's about, six to eight people. I don't remember the exact number. Um, a guy actually sent me pictures. He was standing out there and taking it. He, he sent me a message on Facebook. He said, do you remember this time? And I, I never forgot this time because here's what happened. We pulled in. We get out. DiBiase gets out. I get out. We're both heels now. Uh, and the people start yelling, you know, ah, whatever, 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 whatever. And then finally somebody says something and I see Ted turn around and say, what did you say? And Ted just reached his hand out and slapped this guy down to the ground. I mean, it was the damnedest thing I've ever seen. Uh, he slapped him. Boom. The guy went down and the people backed up and he looked at me and says, keep walking. And we had our bags and kept walking. So as long as you establish that you're not going to play games, that's what I learned that night. And DiBiase is a big fella, and he was pretty big back then, had that neck and had just a big, intimidating guy. And I thought that was pretty impressive. So, you know, that – but once again, that was New Orleans, and they protected the boys. Watts had a lot of influence, and that was accepted. They, you, had to, you, you could not show intimidation. Once you did that, you were blood in the water. Well, I knew uh, I knew Bill Watts looked like all the tough guys and everything, but uh, you know, there's Hercules and Doctor Death and everything like that. But one thing I didn't know that was Ted, D and he's a big guy, but Ted DiBiase, I didn't realize that he was such a badass as well <laughs> that could hold his own with all the rest of them. Ted loved the tough guys, and I mean, I had a lot of fun with Ted too. He was, see, that's the thing. A lot of a lot of people don't understand, especially. Uh, once you get to know somebody like a Hogan or, or DiBiase or those guys who were on top, some guys got it. Some guys didn't. They understood we were all the boys and everybody's working hard. And then other guys wanted their own locker room and didn't want to be around anybody. But DiBiase was definitely a badass. He was not going to shy away from anybody. You had, you had to be a badass in those towns.